Hello everybody, and today we got another viewer repair to do. So a gentleman uh, got a hold of me on my website and said his computer was messed up. So just to show you that I have not looked at this machine yet, it is sealed up. And we're going to open up and see what's in here. All right, let's get going. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Open this baby up. And see what's going on. I forget. I hope he has a little love note in here to tell me what was wrong with it. Because I'll probably have to go back to the emails and find out if he didn't. Let me get all of this out of here. This is packaged really well. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, let me get this out of here and be right back. Well, I'll tell you what, it's packaged well. Man. And this thing is a beast. Very heavy. But, uh, we'll get into it here. Let's see what we got. out of here and get her stood up. And the side panel's not secured. Okay. All right. And neither is the other side panel. Well, but screws the nose. All right, let's get all this out of here. Well, UPS was not gentle with it. Uh, but I think we're okay. This is why, let me take this camera off. Right here is why you always gotta put packaging around your heat sink or fan because this got bent. So we're gonna have to bend it back into place and put the fans back on it. Okay, so this is bent. Yep. All right. Everything else looks okay. Graphics card looks okay. Yeah, everything else looks fine. All right, let me get you guys set up here on my tripod, and let's get started. Let's get this thing turned on. All right, guys, so we will get into this now. What I'm going to do is take this fan out and try to straighten it up from the shipping damage jerking around on it okay that's a nice one yeah so you can see it's just kind of bent so we'll just put that back together And we'll go ahead and put this stick of RAM back in. Let's see here, fell out. Okay. This is a beast. Okay, so there we go. Now 
we'll stick the fan back on because we've got to have some cooling. So let me get this mounted up. Yeah, she kind of got a little bit damaged. Not bad, though. Now, when you're shipping these computers, uh, to me, you can email me and give me your address and everything, and I can try to save you on, on shipping because I have an account. So we can try to save some people on that. Shipping costs has just gotten ridiculous, like everything else, right? Okay, we'll tie that back in. There we go. We'll just kind of squeeze it together a little bit so we have it back in place. And then we'll go ahead and replace a little bit of thermal compound that got dislodged. Okay, so that's going to fit in there good. So we'll go ahead and take the fan out. That's going to work. Then we can get to our screws to screw it back down. Okay, there we go. All right, now we'll put the fan back in. And I think he had it this way, so we'll go ahead and put it back the way he had it. This case has a lot of good places to get your hands in, so that's good. And we're going to go ahead and plug in the fan. And now we are ready to turn this thing on and see what's going on. Okay, guys, let's get into this. So go ahead and power it up. Hook up my keyboard and mouse. Now this gentleman does want a Mac OS installed. So we're going to do that too. So, but we got to find out what's wrong with it first. And we got it. Graphics. Okay, so we'll turn it on. Turn on the power on the top of the case here. If I can find it, there it is. Okay, and we turned it on. It is trying to post. I'll show you down here. We got the light down there. If you could see that, the digital lights. Just restart it again. Let's see how far we get. Okay, we got amber light. Still means there's a problem. Now white light, that's good. Ninety nine, come on, ninety nine. And it just shut off again. So let's see if this is a BIOS reset, which is possible. So we'll wait for it. Nothing on the screen yet. Go ahead and show you the screen. And there it is. So it is posting. Okay, so let's get into this. So it says, enter setup to recover bio settings. All the BIOS settings went back to default. This is a i7-9700K. 
Okay, and it is a Asus Rogue Maximus 6 Hero. So let's go into the BIOS. All right. Go over here to favorites for the heck of it and CSM we want disabled. Fast boot we want disabled. Let's see. Let's go over here to advanced. Nothing there we need to change. CPU config, nothing here we need to change. We do need to make sure VTD is disabled, but above, above 4G decoding needs to be enabled. So we'll enable that. Everything else is fine here. Onboard devices. Everything is enabled. All right. USB enabled, enabled, that's good. Now, let's go back here for a second. Let's go back to, whoops, back here. Now this BIOS version is 1302. Let me look up how old that BIOS version is. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this BIOS, <laughs> this is 1302. It is from 2019, so we are definitely going to update the BIOS on this thing. Okay, so F7, go over here to Tool, Asus Easy Flash, and we'll look for it on this stick right here. I just put it on here, downloaded it from Asus website. There it is, and yes. All right, when this is done, we'll come back and continue on. Okay, guys, so the BIOS recovery is done. Let's go back into the BIOS and set this up for Hackintosh, okay? So we'll just go over here to Trusted Computing. Now, you're going to have different options now because we have a newer BIOS, and that's what we want. We want it to be the latest version so it works best with the new version of OpenCore. So trusted computing, we're going to turn that off and I'm going to go over here to, okay, auto dram right here. Everything's fine. CPU config, everything's fine. System agent, we're going to turn off VTD. We're going to turn on above 4G and nothing here to worry about. Nothing under storage config. Nothing under here. Trusted computing, we already disabled. Onboard devices, they all look like they're on, which is what we want. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Nothing there to change. And then here, resize bar. We, all, we want to make sure that resize bar is disabled, and we already did above 4G decoding. We enabled it. Okay, USB config, we want handoff turned on. Okay, we're done. We'll go over here to boot. Boot configuration, we're going to turn off fast boot. And on Asus, this wait for F1, if error, we'll get rid of that. That's just a nag screen. CSM support, we're going to disable. And secure boot, other OS. So let's uh, save changes and reset okay let's see what happens looks like nothing is happening it rebooted all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and press on these asus boards ah there it is clover okay so there's clover now we certainly don't want clover anymore but let's see Let's see if it boots. Boot recovery. Boot Mac OS. Let's see what happens. Now I haven't, we haven't looked at my stick yet. So this is just his old stuff.
Wow. There it is. Wow. Okay. Let me go ahead and get this. So here we go. It's back up. It is back up. Now that is crazy, guys. Um, okay. So there's all his programs. So I think what I need to do is, yeah, this is an old Clover system. Okay. I'm going to call my, uh, customer, the viewer, and ask him if he wants me to do a reinstall or if he just wants me to send it back fixed. I mean, the only thing we've done to this computer is update the BIOS. Everything else is working. So I'm not sure what happened to him unless the BIOS was just so wrong of course, that had to be what happened. The BIOS settings were so wrong because you know when we first turned it on, the, the BIOS settings were set to default. So if he tried to boot with default BIOS settings, it's not going to boot. So we set up the computer. We went ahead and set the BIOS settings up properly. I noticed the BIOS was old, so we updated, made our changes for Hackintosh, and here is the old Clover up and running. And I think it is Mojave. Yep. No, hi, Sierra. And he states he wants Mojave. So let me call my customer and see what he wants to do. I'll be right back. Okay, so the customer wants to go ahead and upgrade to Ventura. So I went ahead and got a stick together made an EFI for this. We're gonna press uh, F8 to boot from the stick. So we're gonna erase the old version of uh, High Sierra. And of course, we're gonna use open core. 0 0.9.9. .9. Okay guys, so it turns out the problem with the computer, the whole reason he quit using it was because he was getting staticky noises and everything in his audio through his audio interfaces for music production. So that's why the thing got put away and then uh, he pulled it out, thought, hey, I'm going to get this thing running again. It's a good computer. And uh, so he thought to send it to me because he turned it on and couldn't get it to work. And I think that's because the BIOS settings weren't right. But the main problem was, is that the audio interfaces were real noisy and the computer seemed slow. So I think what we have done here, uh, updating the EFI, updating the BIOS and installing Ventura was the smartest thing to do with this computer. Because when I checked it out under High Sierra, the audio wasn't even working. So um, after I got it up and running with Ventura, everything worked fine. No noise, no static. Computer's very snappy, ready to go. So just to let you know uh, exactly what was wrong with this computer. All right, let's finish up the video. Okay, there we go. I'm going to select my USB stick to boot from, which is Ventura. All right, then we'll go over here and install macOS Ventura. So I'll go ahead and install this. When it is done, we'll come back and just make sure that the BIOS is holding and everything is good. Okay, be right back. Okay, guys, so we're all installed here. We've got uh, Ventura on this system, and uh, he's got a uh, Radeon 580 in here, so nice deal. Went ahead and put uh, Windows on it, too, 
I'll show you real quick what that looks like. He had a 500 uh, gigabyte NVMe drive in there too, so he just thought, well, let's throw windows on it. So now when we come up to the boot menu, we have Windows as well. So kind of an uneventful computer repair. Um, just basically bio settings. Um, everything else seems to be working fine on it. So, uh, okay, so right there we got Windows. And this is uh, still a very quick machine. You know, it's an, uh, what is it, i7-13, or no, i7-9700. Yeah, there you go. So, there we go. Uh, another quick repair. If you have a computer that you want repaired, send it to me. Please do so. Um, shoot me an email and uh, tell me what's wrong and everything. And then we'll work out uh, a good shipping price for you to get it to me because if you just take it to the UPS store, it's going to cost way too much. So uh, we'll work on that. So there you go, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next one.